DW Legal World. Today we have with us Ms. Pooja Mahajan, Managing Partner Chandu Ken Mahajan. Ma'am, what do you think about the intersection between insolvency and mediation? See, as of now, um, mediation has not been very actively used as far as insolvency is concerned. There are some cases where mediation has been used that's more, um, you know, uh, at the stage when parties are trying to settle the matters. Um, but I do think mediation does have some benefits as far as, uh, you know, its usage in insolvency law is concerned. And you see, mediation is, is, is really a method, method or mechanism of dispute resolution. It can be applied across various laws. Insolvency is one such law where it can be applied. And um, some of the areas where I think it can be applied is, like I said, uh, cases where parties can settle the dispute at the time when the, case, uh, when the matter is admitted into NCLT. The other area where I think there is a huge, huge uh, possibility of uh, employing mediation as a tool is in pre-insolvency. And th these are cases where the insolvency is imminent and where the creditors and the debtors actually sit together and try to resolve the insolvency. I think that's where mediation actually can play a very key role. Um, some other areas where mediation can be used um, um, in the insolvency process itself is intercreditor disputes. Um, Intercreditor mediation has been used in intercreditor disputes even in the past. Generally, High Court has referred, there are uh, cases where High Court has referred intercreditor disputes for mediation. Insolvency processes also involve a lot of intercreditor disputes. I think that's another area where insolvency uh, mediation can help in resolving the disputes. End of the day, like I said, um, mediation is nothing but a mechanism to resolve the dispute. So wherever in the insolvency process there are disputes, there is a scope for mediation. Right. Do you think uh, mediation would end up in reducing the number of years that is that are usually spent in the insolvency process? You know, it's it's difficult to really assess that. Um, there is also one fear that it may actually end up increasing the timelines because parties may actually try to prolong the disputes by saying that let's refer it to mediation first and then we will come to a conclusion. So it's absolutely critical that if we want mediation to be a successful uh, methodology of dispute resolution and insolvency, we need to be very, very clear on timelines. We need to be very clear on the fact that if we employ mediation and insolvency, it should not result in actually prolonging the, dis the, the dispute, but instead it should actually result in shortening the, dis uh, the time taken to um, actually resolve the dispute. Um, if it is done in an efficient manner, it may help in reducing the timelines, but we need to be very, very careful about uh, uh, its abuse and the potential of its abuse by the parties and actually prolonging the dispute. Thank you very much. Lovely speaking to you. Thanks.